Servus, hello and a very warm welcome from Tokyo, Japan. Actually, FC Bayern just landed a couple of hours ago in Japan's capital and they are already, as you can see, on the field. Tokyo National Stadium all within the 2023 Audi Summer Tour. So, long trip and right after that, a training session. Of course, the Bayern squad trying to get the stiffness, the tiredness out of their legs right away, get into the rhythm in Japan. There'll be a friendly match tomorrow, played against Man Manchester City already in this stadium as well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, maybe you just uh, listened to the press conference with Joshua Kimmich and Thomas Tuchel just before this uh, training session. We had that live on our channels as well. And now these two went out, joined the others on the pitch for this first training session in Japan. So easy warm up under the directions of uh, Professor Dr. Holger Broich as usual. Of course, joined by his uh, coaching staff. But everything that has to do with warm up, with uh, conditioning, strengthening, all these topics. I'll let on the training field by Professor Dr. Holger Boy. Here we can see him. White jersey. Yeah, it's a big uh, squad. <laughs> Traveled uh, to Japan for this Audi Summer Tour going on uh, in Singapore as well. As I just mentioned, three friendly matches. But Thomas Tuchel wanted to have um, a big squad with him. Have uh, a lot of options for the training sessions and for the games as well. Of course, um, a couple of players, you've all read that, needed to stay in Munich. Because of injury reasons. But uh, we can go through the names, especially those names who are missing, <laughs> makes it a little bit easier. Manuel Neuer and Thomas Müller. Manuel Neuer is still in rehab, as well as Thomas Müller after his slight hip injury. He's anxious to join the team as fast as possible, but he mentioned that yeah, he will need a little bit more of time and therefore they decided to leave Thomas Müller in Munich as well. He needed to be joined by Rafael Guerrero, sadly enough. The man who came from Borussia Dortmund, got injured in the training session on Saturday. Eric Maxim Chupomuting still has uh, some problems with his knee, so he stayed in Munich as well. And Marek Tillmann and Tarek Buchmann, two young guns, both in rehabilitative training. So those guys did not travel with the group. Marcel Sabica, you've all read that probably already joined Borussia Dortmund, we'll talk about that later on a little bit more. So obviously he's not with the team anymore. And uh, Alexander Nübel and Johannes Schenk, the two goalkeepers, are both uh, in contract discussions, but moving to another club and did not travel to Japan as well. 
And then there has been a couple of add-ons from the reserve team with uh, Rezi Hülsmann, goalkeeper, Ranz Ketzig, Alexander Pavlovic and Antonio Tikwich. Those are the guys who round off the squad who are not usually with this team, of course. The other young players as Ibrahimovic, for example, are with the team. So now we go on uh, with some stretching. Thomas Tuchel. You can expect another intense training session. <laughs> I'm anxious to see uh, what will happen today. He even used uh, the training session during uh, the team presentation on Sunday, which was live on our channels as well. Maybe you joined us. Uh, he even used that session in the Allianz Arena in front of the Bayern fans for another intense session. He doesn't want to do just a show training session. He always wants to get as much out of every session as possible. Obviously, this one is special after traveling for such a long time. Joshua Kimmich just uh, mentioned that it has been very quiet on the flight. Everyone took the chance to sleep as much as possible. <laughs> he said uh, without Thomas Müller, <laughs> it's always a little bit more quiet for everyone on the plane. But of course, uh, very sad for him, for the whole team that Thomas and Manuel Neuer, obviously as well, two captains of the team, are not with them for this Audi Summer Tour. Big focus in Asia, of course, on Kim Min Jae, as they would say here, especially in uh, Korea, in Germany. It's the other way around, Min Jae Kim. He said himself, uh, I'm Min Jae, but uh, for all the fans to make it easier, they can call me Kim, but uh, he wants to squat to call him Min Jae, so we'll do that as well. It's not as tough as he might think it is for us. So uh, yeah, Min Jae Kim, big focus on him, of course. A lot of media from uh, Korea on this tour. You saw that just before in the uh, press conference. A couple of questions, of course about uh, Min Jae Kim and his marvelous story from uh, yeah, becoming a Bayern Munich player, starting uh, at Korea's third league seven years ago, going to China, going to Turkey, Fenerbahce, and then joining Neapel for just one season last season, winning uh, the championship there for the first time since 1990 with uh, the Neapel squad and uh, becoming a quarter finalist in the Champions League, becoming one of the best defenders in the Champions League and now joining Bayern Munich. And Thomas Tuchel just mentioned that in the press conference. He stepped up every time he joined a different club, got even better. As I just said, <laughs> he already was one of the best defenders in Champions League, so... I'm 
anxious to see uh, how he will develop with Bayern Munich if he can uh, become even better. But uh, for example, one of just two players uh, last season in the Champions League who uh, did not get dribbled around. So obviously he's able to stop pretty much everyone. Min Jae Kim and uh, you hear the voices out of the squad, of the Boyan squad. They're very happy that he joined them. Big, very physical player. Good build-up game with uh, both feet. Yeah, seeing him next to Matthijs de Ligt, maybe with Upa as well. It's a matter of, uh, obviously, a matter of uh, choice of Thomas Tuchel, which system he will play next season. But yeah, sounds like pretty good options defense wise for Thomas Tuchel and Bayern with uh, him, Benjamin Pavard still around. Of course, he can play on the inside as well. So, yes, a lot of good options inside and outside for now. Thomas Tuchel just mentioned. Uh, the press conference as well, that, of course, transfer market is still open. Of course, there will still be things happening in either direction at Bayern Munich. Probably, not for sure, but probably. So, uh, yeah, we'll see which uh, developments will follow with the Bayern squad. Yeah, if you look at the faces, some uh, look a little bit tired, I'd say. Maybe that's uh, just a little bit too much of interpretation on my side, but uh, I'd say some of them look a little bit, just a little bit tired. Here we have Min Jae Kim, the new number three on the Bayern squad. Very special number for Bayern Munich. Big heroes like Paul Breitner, Lucio, Vicente Lizarazu. I've worn that number before. But nothing. Uh, he will worry about for sure. Maybe you've seen uh, his first press conference on our channels as well. Very quiet, very calm person. He doesn't seem to be distracted by anything, by any topics like that. He wants to uh, learn German as fast as possible. He said that as well. Tried some German words already. Min Jae Kim, uh, his English is good enough as well. There'll be no uh, no problems on the communication side for sure. Oh, that looks pretty good already. This is uh, kind of the French connection, at least the French speaking connection with uh, Tel Manet, Upamecano, 
Tsar, and Ion Ibrahimovic <laughs> joining them. What is tail? Looks like uh, he has grown physically again <laughs> over the summer. Looks a little bit bigger already again. Maybe he took the time off to uh, go into the gym a couple of times, as uh, probably most of the players did. It's not really a time off anymore for pro football players nowadays, especially not if you are with Bayern Munich. You can't be lazy for 30 days or more in the summer. Of course, they all take their time off. Maybe they take a week or two to just do nothing and uh, especially get the head cleared to get new focus for the new season. But um, after that, they probably all have been running again, all went to the gym again to come back as fit as possible. The first couple of days are always uh, used after the summer break at Bayern Munich at Sevener Straße for a couple of tests. And then uh, you can see right away what the fitness of uh, each player is about after the summer break. So <laughs> they all know that. They all know it's uh, best to do a little bit in the time off as well. So now everyone collecting some touches with the ball, get used to the ball again, especially after the long travel. But if you look at the different uh, settings, looks pretty good for everyone already. Ball's moving very quickly. Thomas Tuchel, the middle of the field, Watching it all, you can see on the right side the goalkeepers already having their own session. Ah, Konrad Leimer has to run after the ball. <laughs> But looks as if uh, they're all having fun again already. Of course, it's tough. The traveling three games within uh, nine days in Asia. They all know this is part of the game nowadays. This is part of the things you have to do as uh, a Bayern Munich player. In preparation of the season, use the time to do some uh, marketing things in Asia as well. And of course, they won't get to see much of Tokyo or Singapore, but at least a couple of chances there will be to see something different, get some uh, new impressions. But obviously the focus is completely on football for them. That's what Thomas Tuchel said as well. First big test tomorrow. So let's have a look at the program of the Bayern squad for this tour. First big test, as I said, tomorrow in this stadium, the National Stadium at Tokyo. 12.30 Central European Standard Time tomorrow. 
the match against Manchester City. You can follow all that on our channels as well. And then uh, three days later, July 29th, there'll be another test at this stadium. Bayern will take on uh, Japanese top tier side uh, Kawasaki Frontale. And after traveling to Singapore, the uh, Audi Summer Tour concludes on Wednesday. Uh, that's the 2nd of August, 1.30 p.m. Central European Sen Standard Time. Another game against Liverpool at the National Stadium in Singapore. So two very well-known big opponents from Europe as well as a top side from uh, the Japanese league. Some tough tests. Of course, these are preparation games. These are games in which uh, Thomas Tuchel will bring on a lot of players. will bring on the young guns as well. But obviously the impressions pay in already on everything moving towards the start of the season. There'll be another test back in Germany in Unterhaching actually, which is uh, right in front of Munich, a little stadium. They will play against AS Monaco. And after that, they'll be already the start of the season with uh, the Super Cup in Munich, Allianz Arena against Leipzig. And about one week later, Friday, it'll be a Friday night, the Bundesliga. Champion Bayern Munich will open the new season at Werder Bremen. So yes, time will run pretty fast, probably in preparation of the season. As we mentioned before, one more reason for Thomas Tuchel to use Training every every training session as good as possible. Now, now that we have the two of them in focus, Professor Dr. Holger Broich and uh, Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, that's what you need, and that's what they do during uh, the preparation phase. Of course, everyone needs to get fit. You need to push up the heart rates as often as possible, build up condition for a long season. But as you can see now, they try to do that with uh, including the ball, including the playing as much as possible. Very hot, by the way, in uh, Tokyo. 33 degrees Celsius at the moment. So that will uh, make it even tougher for everyone involved. But uh, Thomas Tuchel said, we'll use uh, the time to spread a lot of intensity. When we come back, we'll be uh, straight into a busy schedule. That's why we'll try to pay little heed to the weather and the time change in Asia, Asia, but keep training so we put in enough 
leg work. Every player that hurt that on the Bayern squad knows uh, what he has to expect in the next couple of days in Asia as well. First part of the preseason has been tough already. Training cap at uh, Tegansee, Lake Tegansee, just uh, around 50 kilometers away from Munich, just outside of Munich. Has been tough for all of them. Full focus on uh, conditioning, obviously. But apart from that, a lot of intense training sessions as well. With the ball, they had one friendly already, which is really a friendly. They uh, do that every time they are in the training camp at Lake Tegensee. They play the home squad, Rotach Egan. It's kind of a thank you, a big thank you, obviously, as well, to the club that they leave their training grounds, prepare them perfectly for Bayern, leave them to Bayern for one week. And uh, within this training camp, they play Otak Egan each time they go there. This time they won uh, 27 to nothing with a couple of players uh, scoring five times for Bayern. Jamal Muziala and Matis Tell, for example, and Marcel Sabitzer. We mentioned that. He joined Borussia Dortmund yesterday, so if you're missing him, you get all the news on uh, the Bayern page as well, the Austrian international. 29 years old now. Arrived uh, in Munich in summer 2021, joining from Leipzig uh, last half of the season he spent with uh, Manchester United on loan and now he moves on to uh, Borussia Dortmund. 54 competitive appearances for the German record champions. Or two goals. Won uh, the Bundesliga one time, won the Super Cup, the German Super Cup one time, and became an uh, English League Cup winner with Manchester United last season as well. So Marcel Sabitzer uh, now off to Borussia Dortmund. I was just uh, trying to count through. It's uh, 27 players um, on the roster for this Saudi Audi summer tour to Japan. So a lot of players, especially if you have a look at the fact that there's still six players working uh, on their fitness at Selbener Straße. That makes it 33. And as we just mentioned, uh, 
Marcel Sabitzer left, Alexander Nübel and Johannes Schenk might leave as well pretty soon. These are at Semene as well. So for now, it's a big squad for Bayern, of course. There's a couple of young guns like Franz Kretzig, Alexander Pavlovic, Antonio Tikvic, who will be not part of the pro team during the season probably, but maybe one or another of them uh, might be able to develop into the pro team. Of course, that's the goal for all of them. And huge, huge thing, as we can see, Franz Kretzig at the left side of the picture right now. Left. Defensive back. That's his main position. Left foot. Made great, great development with the second team during the last season. By the way, I can mention that as well. You can watch all the games of the under-23 team of Bayern Munich, home and away, this season on our channels. So always, always good to get some impressions of the guys in the second row working hard towards becoming a Bayern player. Franz Kretzig, as I just said, he had a very good development last season. And this might be one of the reasons he got promoted for this tour to the first team. Of course. The coach is in responsibility of uh, both teams, always in exchange about talents that could join the training sessions of the first team and uh, to see how they integrate, how they do on that. Leroy Sané, as fast as always. This must be a first drinking break for all the players, yes. Very important, of course, especially in this heat still in Japan. Seven hours ahead of the Central European Standard Time. So it's uh, close to six o'clock in the evening over there. Now yeah, maybe uh, Thomas Tuchel and his team will try to get everyone involved as tired as possible in this training session and uh, afterwards there will be a dinner of course and probably most of them will try to get into bed as fast as possible but as you all might know out there everyone reacts very different to those time changes some uh, have to fight with a big jet lag. Others don't. Yuzo Kimmich just said he usually doesn't have any problems with that. He's just trying to uh, adapt time-wise as fast as possible. Just push through. Just tell your body that he has to keep on working. And that's the way he does approach this. Of course, if you stay in Asia for that long, talking about seven, eight days, it's a total different approach as if uh, I know that example from the past Formula One drivers, for example, when they travel to Asia within the European season, which is often the case for the race in Singapore, they stay on European time for those three days. The hotels, everything is completely set up on European time. Breakfast on European time. It gets dark, sleeping times during European time. That's not what these guys do. They have to adapt. They try to adapt as fast as possible.
Now well, it'll be a tough one tomorrow. The game, if you're just there for one day, tough to adapt right away. But the good thing is, the game is <laughs> at a time that your body is used to work, especially during this preparation phase. Uh, game will start, as I said. Tomorrow at 12.30 uh, European Central summertime. So, uh, of course, the body of the players is used to work <laughs> at that time of the day. Manchester City already in Asia a couple of days more, so they probably adapted a little bit better already. So here we go with another training form. The blue players, the blue jerseys just outside of the octangle. Very special setup, something uh, Thomas Tuchel does a lot. If you guys want, you can uh, <laughs> think about the reason why he does that. Luckily enough, I've learned why he does that. He wants to, he does that setup of the field with uh, goals as well, and he wants to kind of force the players to always play the straight forward passes. If the field gets narrow towards the end, towards the goals, you can't play towards the outside too much. And uh, that's the reason why he chooses that setup. Now we have the red team chasing the ball. And we have uh, Joshua Kimmich. And in this case, I think it was Ryan Gravenberg in the middle of the field as kind of jokers. Yellow is back in the middle and there's another break. Everything timed out very, very straight. There's always one of the coaches looking at the watch, timing everything through. It's completely timed out the whole training session by Thomas Tuchel and his team. Tuchel just uh, had a little speech to the players right before the training session started here at the pitch. And now he's more in a position where he watches everything, gets his uh, impressions. The assistant coaches are more the ones leading these kind of practice sessions. Of course, this time with uh, the team is special for Thomas Tuchel. He joined Bayern Munich during the season. Did not really have any time to set up his kind of football, his idea of football. He wants to play with the team during the last season. He joined when everything was on the line. 
just before the game against Borussia Dortmund in the league. Champions League clash with uh, Manchester City. DFB Pokal as well. So yeah, very tough for him to really establish anything he wants to see in the way they play football. Now he does have time to prepare those things. Now he gets, as you just saw, he gets involved for a little bit, but yeah, so very different for him. His first time to have a lot of training sessions with the team. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he changes things, if he, especially tactically, there will be any changes any different ideas during um, the training camp at Tegensee in the press conference he mentioned that the opponent they lost to in the Champions League last season in the quarterfinal the reigning champion Manchester City which will they play tomorrow with their coach, Pep Guardiola. He said that this is state-of-the-art football. That is what everyone has to focus on. And he especially mentioned that Pep Guardiola played the Champions League final with five inside defenders. With five guys that are at least able to play the inside defending position so maybe we'll see Bayern with the three respectively five guy defensive lineup a lot more often in the upcoming season of course Thomas Tuchel just as pretty much every coach nowadays in the top leagues wants to have a squad that is capable of switching systems very fast, very easily during a match as well, but from match to match especially. So, yes, tactical flexibility, something very important for Thomas Tuchel as well. So we probably will not see Bayern Munich play the same system <laughs> during the whole season, but I can imagine that there'll be uh, a three or five defensive lineup way more often in the future. We discussed that before during this training session. Options, he should have enough on the squad at the moment, at least. Kingsley Coman. Very good impressions of him uh, during this first phase of the season. I've seen a couple of uh, training sessions. Kingsley Coman seems to be really fit, really motivated. And we don't have to discuss that. Is If he's healthy, if he's fit, he is just one of, let's say, the five best offensive wingmen in Europe. <laughs> I'm happy just to discuss that with every Bayern Munich fan out there listening at the moment. But uh, I'm pretty sure you're with me on that. And of course, offensively, uh, Thomas Tuchel has some options as well with Serge Gnabry, Sadio Mane being able to play out there as well. Alfonso Davis <laughs> mentioned he would like to play that as well, but luckily enough for Bayern Munich, sadly enough for him, he's one of the best uh, defensive left wingman in the world so we'll see what Thomas Tuchel plans are with him
Mm. Som har i. Obviously, uh, feeling good, having fun here at the training session, Tokyo National Stadium. By the way, the stadium, uh, the Olympics in 2021 have been opened and closed in it is uh, the most important stadium in Japan, in Tokyo. It's a uh, huge city, Tokyo, around uh, 10 million living within the, the inner circle, the inner area of, of Tokyo, and then there's a lot of huge cities just around, like Jibu and Kawasaki, adding on another 20 million, so big area of uh, Tokyo has around 30 million, I think about 35 million even, people living there. Uh, that's something uh, very different <laughs> to Germany, to Europe, of course, that you only get to see in Asia. These guys obviously won't see too much of it. Tokyo, very, very impressive city. A lot of very nice landmarks. You can have a great time in Tokyo. I'm lucky enough to have been there a couple of times, seen that. Uh, yeah, sad enough for all the players that they don't get too much time to walk around, travel around within this uh, huge and amazing city of Tokyo. So now we have a look at the goalkeepers. With uh, Ritzi Hülsmann. Joining from Amateur team, the under 23 team. Very tall goalkeeper, Jan Sommer and Sven Ulreich, of course, are with them. We mentioned before that Alexander Nübel, Johannes Schenk stayed in Munich to have uh, the contract talks going on, pushed forward. We'll see what happens with them. And of course, Manuel Neuer still working on his comeback. Thomas Tuchel and his team decided, obviously together with Manuel Neuer, that it does make more sense for him to keep preparing in Munich and not join the squad yet for this Audi Summer Tour. So now with the black jersey in the middle as a kind of joker player, that's what I like to call it, Konrad Leimer, one of the new add-ons to the Bayern squad, joining from uh, Leipzig. Uh, another player that uh, integrated very well into the team. Teammates uh, very positive about him. Good guy, 
quiet guy as well, but of course, with all his experience already in the Bundesliga and the uh, Austrian national team as well, someone who can take on responsibility right away as well. That's his approach, joining Bayern Munich. He says right away he wants to play, he wants to take on some responsibility. He knows that with his experience, his age, he's able to do that. Box-to-box -box player. It's a very intense game. Bayern uh, <laughs> had to experience that on uh, the second last game day against Leipzig at home where he got in control of the ball at his own uh, box and scored just I think it was 12, 13 seconds later on the other side of the field for Leipzig. That was pretty much a typical Konrad Leimer move. Of course, Bayern uh, had talks with him before that. Already they knew what they would get if uh, they can add him to the team. His contract in Leipzig was running out. So another free agent, as well as Rafael Guerrero joining the team. And Jake Kim. Cost about 50 million. That was sealed in his contract at Neapel. So these are the big three add-ons for now for Thomas Tuchel. We just mentioned in the press conference once again that he's very happy to have uh, Kim on his team now. A lot of his uh, former coaches are very positive about him as well. They all say he can become even better. Brings it all to be a Bayern Munich defensive back. And to still be one of the best in Europe on his position for the next couple of years. I'm talking about the new add-ons for Bayern Munich. Of course, we have to mention Rafael Guerrero as well. Thomas Tuchel said, absolute no-brainer to get him out of Dortmund as a free agent. Very flexible player. Can uh, play many different positions. Left outside uh, defensive back, can play that position a little bit more offensively. Can play number six, can even be number eight. And if necessary, he can even play the inside defensive back position of uh, Guerrero. So yeah, you get a lot from him. Very, very good left foot, but basically very good with both feet and uh, very quick. So especially with uh, Alfonso Davis uh, being out a couple of times last season, sadly enough. It's good to have uh, Rafael Guerrero on the squad as well. But sadly enough, he's uh, 
sidelined, sidelined for the for the time being. Sustained a, a muscle strain, right calf, in the training session on Saturday. Uh, we all hope he's back very soon. Portuguese international Rafael Guerrero. That says it all. He's pretty much always in the lineup for the Portuguese national team, which has a lot, a lot of quality.